Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with the elated Tony Sims. Tony, I said off camera, that's the most animated I've ever seen you when I saw you in that ring, jumping up and down with Joe Candino. How are you feeling right now? Oh, fantastic, you know, because I know what he sacrificed to, uh, to, to, to be world champion, you know, living down in Essex. And for the last five, six years, he's obviously lived with me, so he's become part of my family, really. And uh, to see him do that in that, that sort of style as well in front of his own fans, you know, it was, it was a great feeling. I'm just so pleased for him to see the man set up his, his life, really, set up his family's life. And that's all you want to see at the end of the day. I know you had a game plan as a coach going into a fight like that. You've always got that game plan, you plan ahead. But did you ever envision that a, a second round knockout, right hand down the pipe, out cold? Did you... When you're coming up with that game plan, did you ever envision that, Tony? Be honest. No, of course you, of course you don't. I mean... The shot that you're hitting with, we have, we've been concentrating deeply on that for the last 10 weeks because the a Gower's style of hands eye and use your feet for defence, you know, he's quite difficult to break down. So, you know, by hitting him to the body, you bring his gloves low and then you, you put the, you know, you put the right hand over the top. So, obviously, it was a shot we've been working on, but of course, no, I never expected that. I don't think anyone did. And obviously, it's, a, it's just happened, we're fresh out the ring and stuff like that, but people's minds will start to think about what's next for Joe and stuff. You see, it's life-changing money now. Mm. I mean, the division he's in right now, there's a top dog, a future pound-for-pound pound king, a lot of people are saying, and Stroker Stevenson, Zelfa Barrett, who's in the dressing room next door, just had a great European title win against the former four of Joe's. Um, from here on out, it's nothing but tough, big and dangerous fights for Joe, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, when you, when, you, when you fight for a world title and you manage to win it, all fights after that are hard fights, you know, and uh, you know, and that, that's what level you're fighting at. And as you say, they're all they're all big names, and you know, Joe's probably got a mandatory to do now anyway. But like as you, as you as you mentioned, Shaka Stevenson's name, he was calling Joe out before this fight, saying he's the next best fighter in the division. So you know, that's a fight that could be possible, and uh, obviously, it's all about the money, really. As the money talks, as, as as they say. So, what are the plans for the rest of tonight? I know you're you're in Cardiff. The, I heard there's a little after party. You going to show face, Tony? Of course, I know you. <laughs> I know you are. You're definitely going to. You probably know more than me about where the path to party is. Listen, listen. Uh, absolute pleasure and honour to speak to you. Obviously, after a win like that, you're that Conor Ben and everyone says what you do. You're first in the gym. You're always there for your fighters. So it's testament to your hard work as well that your fighters have achieved something. So I'm sure. Charlie will agree with me that some of the credit is, is down to you. So I know you're a humble man. You probably don't like getting a lot of compliments, but I've just gave you one there. So well done to yourself. And uh, have you got a final word for the, the Welsh fans uh, out there? Yeah, no, the Welsh fans are unbelievable. I was saying um, I want to thank Charlie as well, because obviously Charlie put this fight together with Eddie. Do you know what I mean? People don't realise the hard work that he does behind the scenes, managing my fighters. But um, I was saying earlier to Charlie, like at the weigh-in and at, the, at his weigh-in even, uh, it reminded me like of the, like the Ricky Burns sort of support that you get up in Glasgow, and um, obviously you see Josh Taylor get that sort of support. And uh, when 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 they come from these countries, like where they don't get loads of world champions, like in Scotland, in Wales, they're like fanatical support. It means it means a world to them. You know what I mean? And uh, it's just like it makes your hair stand up on the back of your neck, you know what I mean? Especially when they're doing the national anthems, it's fantastic. Are you saying England are spoiled because they've got too many world champions? Well, we're just a big, we're just a big country, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes, like, not everybody, uh, you know, not everybody clamours together. Do you know what I mean? Like they do in these small, smaller countries. So, you know, the support was phenomenal. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I, I think. Uh, Joe will only grow bigger, you know what I mean? And uh, when you think Matchroom never had a lot of time to put this show together, four or five weeks they put this show together in. So you, can you imagine a, a defence for Joe when they've got like 10, 12 weeks to put a show together? It's, he's going to pack out a big stadium down there. Well, Tom, I won't keep you much longer. I want you to go and celebrate with the rest of the team and I do appreciate your time, so thank you so much and I'll see you at the after party. Thanks, Eddie. Look thank you very much, to Tony. It. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.